all right what's up everybody welcome back it's your boy chris thanks for watching another episode of southern lifetimes so today i'm here to do a review on this lovely contraption right here that my fiance bought me it's called the tumble drum automatic fish scaler and it's made by open country i guess that's the name of the company that makes it open country fishing game yeah she bought me this and she told me i better do a review on it so here we go i got the machine over here from what i've seen on other reviews it's pretty simple to use you got your tub your drum that connects in there the motors on the side and it's going to use the plug with the uh, three prongs you know it's got this special ground in on there and uh, as soon as you get it you want to rinse it out and uh, you can take your tub out easily come show them baby how the tub comes out see it sits in that groove there you can take it out you got your other grooves over here it's just got a split in it and it comes out of there like that and I already got my water in there. It's got a water line that you fill up to. You just fill it up to there. No mode in there. Now this drum, it opens up like that. You put your fish in there. Close it. And that's pretty much it. And I do have some fish. Then I'm about to clean with it. And we're going to see what happens. Set that over there. Open it up too. All right, what we have here, I got some crappie, not very many. I got some crappie. I think I got one red ear brim in there and one bluegill. So I'm going to probably do two cycles because from what I've seen, you want to mix you don't want to mix sizes you want to put the smaller fish in there together and put the bigger fish in there together so what I'm gonna do is put the smaller fish in there first and uh, from what I read in the instructions run it anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes depending on the fish size that's what it says in the instructions but I've seen in other videos where I've seen some people say run it seven minutes then check it so what I'm gonna do is run it about five minutes check it fill on them and then we'll go from there but let me go ahead and get some fish in here nice size red ear I call them a red ear because of that red strip along the ear Red or sunfish, red or brim. Some people call it different things in different parts of the country. That's perfectly fine. I always tell people never let a book or anything like that dictate what you call fish in your area. You got some people out there that argue argue you down about bluegill. You know we call them a brim. Oh, that's not a brim. A brim is a fish native to Europe. Well, I don't care what the book says. We call them brim, so I'm going to call them brim. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I kind of want to put both of those in there with them. You know what? We're gonna do a test run. I'm with this a test run anyway. I'm gonna put them all in there. No more fish than I got. Alright. Now we close it. Close my cooler. I'm gonna set it on top of the cooler and run it. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. And you got your on and off switch right here. Just one simple switch. Down for off. Let me look at the time because I want to time it. 6.21. And we hit up the power. And 
There they go, they're tumbling. All right, so I'm gonna let this run about five minutes and then I'll be back when I, when I get ready to check it. All right, so instead of the five minutes, I decided to go ahead and run it seven minutes. That was like the average time I seen in other videos. So I'm gonna stop it and just check it. We're gonna see how, they, how they're doing so far. Man, that thing does a real good job. That fish. I feel one little scale right there. The only thing I was suspecting or wondering about, sometimes like when you scale them with a knife or something, you have to kind of really get behind that plate there on the side, behind the gill. Uh, there may be just a couple in there, but you know, you're stuff that's off in there you won't have to really worry about anyway but all of this even under here that one right there i would call a completely scaled fish let's check one of the bigger ones now oh, that one's about the same size i'm actually surprised at how good it's doing okay that's a it's a few more on that brim which I can understand why because a crappie is actually their scales come off a little easier than a brim so he'll probably stay in there but majority of the crappie may come out that one there that one feels completely scaled yeah all around that fin so far I like it let me find one of the smaller fish. Oh yeah. So I guess that's what they mean on the smaller fish because I I'm, I'm, guess the smaller fish are going to be cleaned faster. That's why you want to check them from time to time because once those scales get off, if you leave it too long, it may start to cut into the meat or the skin and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure all the smaller crappie are done then. Let me find another bigger one okay that's a smaller one let's check this one way in the back got just a little on him okay All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bowl and take out all the ones that I feel like are completely scaled and then let the rest go that do have a few remaining scales on them. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I took a few fish out of there, but after going through there more, more closely, just about all the scales are off all of the fish except the two brim in there. And like I said, the scales come off crappie easier than brim. Uh, a couple of them just had just barely a few scales on them around the, up under the gill plate and next to a couple of the fins so I'm going to run a little longer y'all stay tuned alright so I just ran it about another three minutes okay so this is pretty much a completely scale fish it just has a couple scales right there at the tip but I don't know if you're like me you probably will cut that off sometimes I cut it way up under here but it wouldn't be no problem to what you can go over that in a second or two but that's a scale of fish right there it 
That's a scale fish. Fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, see that brim. He'll probably have to go by himself. That's a scale fish. So same thing with that one, just a few scales right there. Besides that, that's a scale fish. So I don't have many in there, so that's why I'm expecting each one. Same thing, just what, maybe four or five scales right there. Won't take me no time. I can get that off there with one swipe of a knife. So, so far, I love what I'm seeing. This will definitely save a lot of fish cleaning time. Okay, on this bigger one, just right there. Most of them are gone from right there. I really don't feel any right there. So, he just had a couple right up under there. And that's it. Same thing, just a few scales right there. They're, see what I'm saying on the crappie, they come out so easy. I just about got all them off with swiping my finger. Yep, same thing. So that's probably all, if, if there are any scales left, from what I'm seeing, that's all you have to worry about, right up under there maybe right up under this skin right here he does have that one there probably of all the fish i've checked so far he had the most left on him just right around that fin and up under there but regardless it's still saving you a lot a lot of time and the same thing right up under there right up under there and there but I'm going to throw them in there anyway. Like I said, it won't a couple swipes of a knife and I can have all that off there. Okay, let's see how this small brim did. We got a few right there. Yep, so I got all the crappie out of there. It's just the two brim. Like I said, their scales are a little tougher than the crappie, so... I'm going to run those two by theirself just to see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. Slide it back in the groove. I don't know how many carpet that is. That may be about 12. Somewhere around that, but all of those are pretty much clean with a couple of scales were on them i showed you where they are right up under the mouth under that gill plate and um maybe two or three of them had some besides the little side fins but those properly they ran 10 minutes pretty much all clean all scale fish Now I'm gonna check these two brim. I left in there to run a little longer. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so all this smaller brim. He doesn't have any up under there like the crappie did. But it's just a couple right back here. Besides those scales right behind, tucked up under those fins there, and a little around the anal opening. And that's it. So, for the most part, that's a scaled fish.
it's still saving you a lot of time. All right, let's check this bigger one. A few scales right there. I probably could have ran them a little longer, but I was afraid to because it was two different size fish. That one still got a few scales on the side right here. Not many. This side is pretty much completely scaled, except the few I was talking about up under the fins there. Let's run them a little longer and see what happens. That one big red there, that's a pretty thick fish. I just want to see what happens if I run it longer. I could have easily just been happy with that. But we're testing this machine out, so. So far I like it. I can already tell it's gonna save me a lot of time, so. I'm gonna run that one brim a little longer and see what happens. All right, so I think what's going on is, like I said, I, I had brim and cropper together. Probably should have done the two brim by themselves. Because now that I just got that one fish in there, I think what's going on is, it does better when you have the fish in fish in there together because it's going through more of that tumbling action so now I'm gonna stop it and see what's going on to confirm what I'm thinking I could be wrong who knows okay, still just a couple right behind that fin same thing on the other side Just one or two across there, but a couple right there. So yeah, this it probably would have been alright if I'd have had him in there with some more brim. The tumbling action would probably help him stick to the walls more to get those scales off there, but besides the scales behind there that's pretty much clean under there just a couple of little bit ones right at the tip right up under there a couple right there on the anal fin I felt one or two along there but I'm happy with that I am happy with that that saves me a lot of time So, if I had to clean these fish by hand, I would probably still be scaling fish right now. I'm pretty sure I would. Like I said, I took all the crappie out of there after running the 10 minutes. I let both the brim go together, took the smaller one out, left the bigger one in there. But I'm thinking that it does better with quite a few fish in there all together. So, I'm happy with that. Like I said, you can easily take a knife, a couple swipes, those scales are gone that it did leave on. So, overall review, I love it. It is a time saver. It is kind of costly. Um, what was it? A little over 200? I don't 50? even remember. I think it was a little over $200. Maybe 250 something like that, but it's definitely going to pay for itself. I mean, it's saving you lots of time. It's going to come in handy for those late evening trips when you get back late, it's dark, you're just ready to clean them. Or you may want to ice them down, clean them that morning. Where well, you can go ahead and knock them out and save plenty of time. So when you get done, all you have to do is take your drum out all that's left is uh that water i mean that's not soap in there that's just from the fish slime mixing with the water and doing all that tumbling and it's supposed to leave all the scales in the bottom because it has some holes right there as it tumbles 
<laughs> the scales will seep by those holes. Yep. Pretty much all your scales are in the bottom of there. So all you have to do is, I can go right there to those bushes, dump the water in the scales, rinse this thing off with the water hose, maybe a couple sprays of bleach on it if I feel like it, and that's it. So I must say, I recommend this machine. It is the Tumble Drum Automatic Fish Scaler made by Open Country. Y'all look it up, man. I love it. So I feel like it's a must have. Saves you time. But that's it for this video. I'm going to wrap it up. I just want to do that review, man. Like I said, I love it. Thanks for everybody that's been supporting me. If you like these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.